So welcome back guys, we've got a green oval of death again, Land Rover, see this one's a silver. Uh, Salsa in the big Range Rover Sport, usually that's how they start, these ones are silver. So it's an Evogue L538 uh, Range Rover Evogue. Um, we've already been in, had a little look, uh, we did try a, a regeneration run on it, it was unsuccessful so uh, we did send us some cleaner, so it's wrong type. We keep all that stuff anyway. So I, we have been, uh, we've been around up and down the motorway in it. Um, it seemed to go down to about uh, 47 grams of soot. It's saying it's full up, like 49 grams or something like that, 59 grams, I can't remember. Um, and it just, it went down to about 47. Like, oh, it's good, it's going down. I think it went down to about 46 grams. Right, it's going down, we're nearly at Livingston, so... I thought maybe the time on the way back it'll, it'll come down enough to, to put the light out, but it just started going back up. So, uh, and I see you could watch it on the, the data, you could watch the data while you're going down the road and you could see it fluctuating up and down. So, we've got the, we've got a, an in, uh, in the DPF cleaner, so one that goes inside it. Um, again, this is just telling us about network, uh, I think eventually we're going to be locked out. So, we know that it's got the fault codes for uh, DPF regeneration and regeneration unsuccessful uh, so yeah P2463 000 permanent soot accumulation uh, we're going to go back out of there, we're going to look at the live data see what kind of pressures on the DPF so we will see and it does have the big nuisance light on I've been warming it up there, my brother's just came back in actually, he was picking his car up earlier he says, what are you doing? You're still working on that one? I says, ah, I'm just warming it up. He says, it's been warming up for about two and a half hours. I says, God, is that how long you've been away for? <laughs> so time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Eh? So, yeah, we're doing some breaks and stuff on a week here. So, right, let's see. Uh, it'd have been quicker going into uh, the DP, just DPF on its own, but we'll do it this way. We're in here now. So... DPF uh, Oh level, we know that it's diluted, 5% diluted So it says there, dilution factor uh, 522 days, the lady says it was, was serviced but uh, I'm not sure why, why that's saying that it's Not showing that it's been serviced anyway Right, so there we go, so it's actually went up again, 51.9 grams now. What we're looking for is TPF pressure. So, oh, so it says it's 103%. Uh, that is well choked, isn't it? 103%? Jeez. So, I'll pause this to find this. Right, so, that is indicating then the pressure uh, in the DPF, 7 key kPa. Uh, we want about 2 uh, or less, to be honest, if we can get uh, as low as possible on it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to sit in, give that a portion, and see if that increases. It shouldn't increase, it probably will, but... Yeah. pressure in it. So I think we'll put the cleaner in it now and take it from there, yeah. So it's got to sit the cleaner in it for a while as well, so 7 kPa, it should be about 2. So aye, thanks for watching guys. The green oval of death, just a little baby range over this time. Um, so we'll get that taken care of. We've got our special cleaner that we'll put in it. Put a special cleaner in it and then we'll, we'll try another VGen run on it and hopefully this time uh, it's a bit more successful. So that's all the cleaning product in it. So the foam goes in, uh, goes down this pipe, and it should soak into it hopefully. Aye, so hopefully that'll do the trick. Hopefully. 
Okie doke. So I've now told that it has a new one. Um, we'll need to do this again up the motorway to, to see what the level's at because it's going to tell us it's, it's fine at the minute. But it should do anyway. Um, so I, we shall have to run up the motorway again. So I think I'd pause that video there. I was trying to show the all the soakiness, so you can see all the all the crapness, all the steam coming out of it as well. Now you can see how black that stuff is in there. I know it's hard to see it with the smoke coming out, but it's pretty black, pretty black stuff. So we'll put this on the fast idle for a while. So we'll do this. Yeah, if I get ten minutes or so, and then we'll get that one up the road. See what it does. So right, thanks for watching guys, if you haven't hit the thumbs up man, uh, hit the subscribe button, have a great day, Photon actually, I think they do some DPF stuff as well, so we'll take a look into that as well. So I've been going a wee while, this isn't a regeneration, this is me doing this, this is just me trying to clear some of it. Still getting some, so what we're going to do is we're going to park it outside this night, get the rest of the vehicles in, uh, and then we'll go up the motorway and see what it's doing. So, hi, right. happy days, these landowners, man, aren't they? Uh, seems to be a new learner driver route behind my garage, so every time I go to it, there's a learner. So, we'll just park it here just now. Again, take the trouble code out it as well. Oh, there's none there, the machines probably did it. Always codes, yes, yes. Escape. Which charge we got in the battery? Forty percent. We could stick out and charge while this is over waiting. So I've got this all set up again for the, the DPF uh, regen run, so obviously you've seen me put the cleaner for it. So, uh, ignition's on, it's running, so i ensure that it's up to date, I'm going to go where it is. So, basically we need to get above, 40 mil, above 25 mil an hour, it should take 15 minutes. Uh, it's been running for hours this thing, so it was running to get it warmed up and then we had this cleaner in it and it was running some more, I did a fast idle on it. Nobody tells you to do that, that was just my judgement to be honest with you, just thought right, let's try and blast some through. So we'll go and run this now and see what happens, so stay tuned. Classic, classic Freelander. So it's come down to 34 with the cleaner. So it's coming down slowly. We are at uh, 24 now, 24 grams. So it has come down significantly, and then it's went down again. So it is continuing to go down. So hopefully, it'll do that. Let's see. This guy's in front of me. I'm on a DPF run. I need the revs up. Why are you breaking? Oh. This guy and his Ford man, he's ruining it for everybody. That is coming down again, but that is coming down to 19 now. So he's ruining it for everybody, the guy. Uh, no idea what this guy's doing in here. Uh, I think he's on his phone or something. Oh, thank God he's moved. Thank God. So, not far away, guys. Not far away now. Uh, what are we at? 7.1. We're nearly there. We're on the way back now. Uh, I've been on the way back now, we we're starting to see signs for Hart Hill shots, Glasgow. So hopefully we don't need to go buy our cut off. <laughs> so if I need to go buy my cut off, or oh God knows I'll cry, man. 
Aye, uh, no, it's, it's nearly there, so fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed, we'll check it all. There you go, great success, great success, guys. I'm really pleased with that, so to be honest, I was not expecting it, I wasn't expecting it, so. Oh, I'm pleased with that, like, eh? That wind stuff's done a trick there, yeah, I think, like, eh? The big hotel as well, big hotel's doing its bit. You know, it's telling the car, give us more fuel, send in some ad blue, regenerate this DPF I was well, we're blasting down this motorway. So, we'll check it all once we stop, but yeah, looks good. There you go, the particulate filter, suit mass is now at the acceptable lower limit. Stop the vehicle safely at the next opportunity, put it into P for park mode. It's in P for park mode. No lights in. So it says to turn off the ignition. Put it in P and turn off the ignition. Press OK. Turn the ignition off and well, ignition was off, so turn it. We'll do it, we'll do it off hand on night or so. We'll, we'll, I think he's been confused, Mr. Hotel. The operation was successful. Oh, sorry about that. Operation was successful. We're just going to go back in, start the thing back up actually. Up it is. I thought I was going to stay on there. I always do, don't they, these things? So we'll go back in. Uh, is there one for DPF? Oh, it's on. Save us going through all that crap again. Back right, no matter. We'll go in here. Live data. Uh, quite close to the bottom. So oil dilution, we're still at the 5.6. Uh, uh, wait, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We want to see how much pressure's in this. Yeah, uh, well, we chemical 6.2 litres in it just now. Suit mass measured. So there you go, happy days. We're down to 2.4 there. You're getting over of death. I could be doing a screen protector on this, or, as well as got a screen protector on it, but a new one. Uh, Alright, so what did we say we wanted two? We're down at one. Happy days, measured suit grams now 1.9. Obviously, we know about the oil dilution 5.6%. Um, Rev it. That's better, isn't it? That's what we're wanting. We're wanting when it's ticking over for it to be as low as possible, uh, which it is there. So we'll just go back and check again. Oh, there is no fault codes. So read codes. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe because it looks like this one's done. Happy days. So, home time now. So, it also, it flashes the high beam in this car, I've never, I've never noticed it, so I think it's got a 9 speed auto or something like that, an 8 speed auto, um, and as well when you're driving along and you're running the B roads and stuff like that, the, the high beam's coming on, uh, and then it goes off on its own, so I think that's how it's meant to work, but quite cool, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm, I'm, that means would be the car, but the I'd just be blinding everybody, so, <laughs> bye, thanks for watching, guys, um, we'll just now recommend we'll get the oil and filter changed on this one tomorrow, um, Hopefully there's no more dramas, no more issues with this uh, uh, DPF on this uh, baby Range Rover. So the Range Rover Evoque, uh, hopefully now, hopefully now, so what was it, P2463 I think, uh, was a fault code. So hopefully now that's that all taken care of. So like I say guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button and have a great day, okay? So up we have the Range Rover Evoque. I've got it on the ramp again. Not found any defects with it. Brakes are all good. Handbrakes came on there, so but brakes are all good. Suspension seems all good. Uh, tires very good. Tires on good neck. Uh, Continentals, I think they are. Uh, Continentals. Yeah, Continentals on the back. And Avon on the front. 
Yeah, evil on my pot. <sighs> evil on that side. So at least it's got matched the pair of boots. So we've got pretty much all the oil drained out of it. So it was shown that it was 5% uh, diluted with, with diesel basically. So we'll get the a new sump plug. Does it say Cougar, C Max, Galaxy? There you go. So all those ones there. Eh? So it's been about for a long, long time that sump plug on it. I think I've actually got one in my toolbox, but I actually ordered them in for the cars. So. So I and a lot of Fords on there, so yeah, they're about to be uh, the, the Ford Peugeot Citroen Group East, so uh, the Range Rovers, that's why you find all those Citroen Peugeot badges on the big Range Rovers, you know, people ask me why they go wrong. <laughs> don't know, I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, just some cars, eh? This wee one's okay now, we've had the DPF on it, we'll get our service done. Um, we've done a, a few road tests on it since we've done the, the regen and it. No brand any lights back on, the power all seems there, so yeah, we'll just need to send it back out and hope that's all it's been, hope that's all it is, so there is one wee bit I did know, I could hear a wee rattle on it, um, this wee pipe here has come away, it's just broken off, I think there's a flash away, so, so I, I'll get some to secure that back on, yeah, it'll be a wee hose clamp or something like that, see if we can secure it back on, stop it rattling. It'll not do any damage, but it would be noise off it. I could hear it when it was sitting there idling away, uh, rattling away, so I'll see if I can do something with that. So, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe, whatever got so noise, so cold, we so lip and all. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Have a great day. Have a good Christmas, eh? Played something interesting. Really interesting on, on the Land Rover. I believe it. That was kind of I can't imagine it. Why? The dipstick. Land Rover owners don't dip in oil. They check the dash. Ah, can't you think about green oval of death? So I just oil filter to change now, and then we'll run it and get the cover back on it. So you can see the oil filter's down there on it. Down there, we've got a special tool. Go to the box for getting that filter up. So, uh, it takes 7 litres of oil as well, according to my data. So. I think it's probably just under 7 litres, it's maybe 7 litres if it's completely empty, no, you'll never get all the oil out of it. Um, you'd need to remove the sump pan, there will still be a little bit, plus there'll still be oil through the galleries and stuff like that, so... Um, aye, aye, so, aye, we'll get the, the oil filter, we'll get the filter changed, the oil was in it, we'll get the filter changed, run it up, uh, we'll get the machine back on it, and we'll correct all the, the oil dilution factors, we'll reset all the lights on it, the, the service light, it wasn't on the service light, but the hotel was sitting on the... The screen it had been over 511 days, I think, uh, since its last service. So we'll correct all the, the data on the the, the the menus so that the customer knows and the light will come on when it is due service again at the correct time. So I think it was half a drop centre of its service that last. I'm not sure if maybe they've just no, not did the procedure right on the machine. Some of them, some of them it can be a bit of mission. So I mean, it's pretty easy, the, the, the service lights and the hotel usually does it all for me. The odd one or two, you're, you know, it's like starting this spaceship, you know, you know, a million buttons to press and hold for however length of time. Aye, so it can be funny games. But aye, thanks for watching guys, thanks for watching, have a great day. So it all seems all good. No leaks. Something's all good. New plug in it, obviously. Yeah, so just get the cover back on. Yeah, it looks good up there. That's interesting, isn't it? It looks like that's a low pressure EGR, something like that. It's bypassing the DPF and going straight out to there, so interesting, isn't it? I'm not sure if that's a high pressure or low pressure EGR valve. Yeah, a big unit anyway, it'll be expensive when that goes wrong, won't it? So, right, again, and if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and have a great day, okay? Right, so we've got the, the Range Rover in, it's got that Crescent relay box, uh, permanent fault. Uh, I think there's something to do with a 9 volt battery. Don't worry too much about that, now the car's not getting the lights on or anything like that, it's for a gateway module. Um, so, we were just checking after the service, make sure there's no lights on, make sure there's no codes for the DPF, power control module, which is your engine, we'll enter that system. Um, and we'll have a little look in here, we've got special functions. Find the one I'm looking for. Right, so I think we're in the right bit now. So oil dilution value values 5.7%, so we'll hit the OK. Yes. 
Oh. Ah, my because I've got it running. Right, let's try again. Right, we'll try again. Okay. Turn the ignition off and on, that sounds better to me. So let's do that. Could take the machine with me, I suppose, but. Uh, plugs in there for me. So. Off. On. Keep up my fitness. Right, back in here again. Uh, on and off, we have done that. Turn on the predefined test, which requires any associated DTC to be logged. Okay, turning this on as. Ah, come on. <laughs> Ducky, 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 let's do it. Oof. On. That's back on. Right, let's see. Yeah, that was done. So, I should have reset that oil level. Uh, so, I'll go back out there now. The live data. Come on, live data. Data, data, input. Johnny Five, eh? he loved a bit of that. He loved a bit of reading. Oh, Ooh, I don't know about you guys on the world, it's certainly getting cold here in Scotland. So, we're going to look for the oil dilution factors. Uh, Ah, uh, you million bits of data. Johnny Five would have had this red. Now you're going to the next car. No, don't want that. Right, so there we go. So we're down to zero percent now. That's what we're looking for. Right, and there, if it was telling us accumulated distance, it was telling us a. Uh, well, I had the mileage, I can't remember what it was, and it was telling us it was in days, it was 500 and something days, so that's good. That is good, 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 good. We will now go down and have a little look, just double check. Let's see, it's got 6.2 litres in it, we've put 6.5 in so far. We will check the dipstick. Measured soup mass, 1.7 grams, absolutely superb. Uh, that's saying it's in the bed, but it's not, it's, we had it way down, so... Uh, okie doke. Well, we've seen it, it was a way up at, uh, what was that way up at? 50 grams, something like that, I was saying. So 1.7 sounds good to me. So, let's see what else we can check. I don't see anything untoward then. Is it still showing in the bed? But it's. Let's see. Uh, Seems good, I think. Yeah. Let's nice see how it goes. But yeah, I certainly cleaned it with the uh, winds DPF cleaner. Yeah, it seems to have done the trick, so. Lots of that on this, eh? We're not going to 
look at too much more, I don't think. Yes, that all seems good. Yeah, we're going to come out here now. Uh, empty there. Empty there. Right, all good then. Right, so thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. There's quality Land Rovers there. Eh?